Besides being one of the richest and most famous TV hosts on American television, Steve Harvey is a great businessman who knows how to invest and enjoy his net worth. But have you ever stopped to wonder about just how this tycoon lives? In this video you will find out all about Steve Harvey's luxurious life. Before we get started, I challenge you. You have to click on subscribe and activate notifications check the option all. But you have to do that in less than 5 seconds. You got it? And if you can, write in the comments hashtag about subscribe. Alright, let's get started. Career Born in 1957 in Welch, West Virginia, Broderick Stephen Harvey, senior better known as Steve Harvey, is a great television host, comedian, and writer. Coming from a very humble background, Steve Harvey has had several professions, such as boxer, mailman, and insurance salesman. His career in the communications business began with stand-ups, at which time he even ended up becoming homeless. When his popularity on the shows increased, Steve got the opportunity to host its Showtime at the Apollo in 1993. From then on, the comedian became very successful on television, getting to the position of host and sometimes executive producer of the shows, The Steve Harvey Show, Family Feud, Steve on Watch and Judge Steve Harvey. As a consequence of his splendid work in television, Steve Harvey has already won six Daytime Emmy Awards. In addition, he has written and released four books, one of them being Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man, which achieved great sales figures. And with long years of a solid career, today Harvey can enjoy a comfortable and extremely luxurious life. Mansion in Atlanta Steve Harvey has had a difficult past, including being homeless. But today, with such professional success, the great television host can live with his family in a real palace located in the city of Atlanta, in the state of Georgia. With 17 acres of land, the property is considered one of the largest and most expensive in the area, and is surrounded by a dense and very lively forest, which provides plenty of privacy for the residents. Built in 2007, the palatial mansion was inspired by the architecture of Versailles, with details in the design that would dazzle any king. From the entrance hall with its double staircase you can imagine the extravagance of the property. With arabesque banisters and an imposing crystal chandelier, the main room has a double height ceiling with floor-to-ceiling glass windows, which provide spaciousness to the room, besides having cozy furniture and warmer, earthy tones. Right next door is the dining room full of meticulous details in its decoration. The 35,000 square foot house has 7 bedrooms and 14 bathrooms. The master suite, for example, is all decorated with gold furniture and ornaments, making for an exquisite look. In another part of the property, the curvilinear ceiling shapes bring depth and charm to the rooms, and recall the architectural structures of churches and historic temples. Steve Harvey can enjoy many amenities in this palace, such as a games room full of leisure activities, an indoor swimming pool with a relaxing spa tub, a well-equipped gym, a dry sauna, a private movie room, and a giant wine cellar that can accommodate many bottles of wine. Not to mention the outdoor area that is full of fun to be had, with a spectacular infinity edge pool overlooking the forest and the tall buildings of the city. It looks like a real luxury hotel. There is also a tennis court and many well-kept gardens around the house. This movie set worthy estate was once owned by actor Tyler Perry, who sold it for $17,500,000 in 2016, making it the most expensive transaction in the city's history. Until in 2020, Steve Harvey acquired this property for $15 million. In other words, the comedy star got a great deal. Chicago Apartment the great comedian Steve Harvey is a rather powerful man who likes to invest in some good real estate. He once had, for example, a luxurious apartment in the famous Trump International Hotel and Tower located on the busy North Wabash Avenue in downtown Chicago in the state of Illinois. Located on the 88th floor, the 5,500-square-foot property has everything you could ask for in an exquisite apartment. One of the most striking features in the residence is the 19-foot-long ceiling height, enhanced by floor-to-ceiling windows, offering 360-degree views of the city and the lake. There are three bedrooms with panoramic city views, five full bathrooms all with jacuzzis, an open-concept kitchen with black stone countertops and top-of-the-line appliances, plus there are three fireplaces throughout the property. The building also offers amenities of a five-star hotel, including spa service, a luxurious fitness center, and also a restaurant. Harvey bought the apartment in 2013 and disposed of it in 2018, pocketing $7,700,000 at the time. Property in Beverly Hills 
Steve Harvey has also lived temporarily on a property of nearly two acres located in an upmarket gated community in Beverly Hills, California. The charming 11,000-square-foot house has large, spacious rooms with classic decor and a very light and delicate color palette. Meanwhile, the chef's kitchen is dominated by blue-colored appliances, bringing a lot of personality to the place. Going up to the second floor, one can choose between one of the five bedrooms in the house. The master suite, for example, has a huge bathroom with a walk-in closet. In total, there are eight bathrooms spread throughout the property. The estate also features a library flooded with light, a dining room with a table for 12 people, a three-bedroom guest house, a large backyard with lush gardens, and a swimming pool with great lighting design. And in order for the comedian to live in this amazing mansion, he had to pay some good money in rent close to $125,000 a month. Considering that Steve lived for more than one year in this property, the total he has spent on this rent is really impressive. <laughs> Luxury shopping Steve Harvey is a very stylish man who always wants to be well-dressed, no matter what the occasion. He is always posing on his social networks wearing suits and overcoats, greatly moving his followers with his choice of looks. This is all due to the fact that the presenter has the stylist Ellie Caramo at his disposal. One picture that caused a fuss on social media and generated many memes for looking like a Marvel villain was his green monochromatic look, a Bottega Veneta composition. The long coat alone costs about $2,600. Harvey also owns a turtleneck sweater from Dior's Spring Summer 2021 collection with Ghanaian artist Amoako Bofo, which costs $3,000. On a Another occasion, the presenter wore a boot made of crocodile skin by Tom Ford, an iconic shoe that costs almost $3,000. To appear on Jimmy Kimmel's show, the comedian wore monogrammed leather pants from the Gucci label, a piece of clothing that costs $4,600. Steve Harvey also posted stylish photos wearing a not-so-basic purple Berluti jacket, a piece that costs $7,300. In order to compose his outfits, the television presenter also invests heavily in luxury watches. He has already appeared on shows wearing an 18-karat yellow gold Rolex Day Date with ruby and diamond-studded stones, an extremely luxurious accessory that costs around $150,000. Another watch that seems to be very much loved by Steve Harvey is the Rolex Rainbow Daytona, an item made in yellow gold, with black dial and bezel studded with several precious stones of different colors. And to have such a watch, the comedian had to spend something around $190,000. The more luxurious and expensive model that the star usually wears at special events is a Roger Dubuis Excalibur Knights of the Round Table made of rose gold, 33 ruby stones, and a blue alligator buckle. Being a limited edition with only 28 pieces, the watch is valued at around $300,000. Steve really does exude style. Cars After finding himself in a situation where he had to live in a car, a 1980s Ford Tempo, nowadays Steve Harvey can have any car he wants, and his luxurious garage makes a point of this very well. And as a lover of the classics, he owns a 1941 Cadillac convertible, a well-preserved exotic vehicle worth about $95,000. On his 59th birthday, for example, the presenter got his wife a Bentley Mulsanne, a large and extremely refined sedan that costs around $305,000. And of course, Harvey has also surprised Marjorie in her 50s with a luxury vehicle. He gave her a Phantom Drop Head Coupe, which offers a dual experience of contact with the outside environment. A lover of nature, this car craves long days out and weekends away, and that is why it costs about $500,000. $100,000. The comedian also owns a Rolls-Royce Phantom 8 equipped with a V8 engine, a vehicle that has an interior like an oasis of luxury in tune with an exquisite exterior finish. This car is synonymous with exclusivity and can be found for sale for $550,000. Yacht Steve Harvey loves to use his free time traveling to different destinations with his wife and their seven children. To celebrate his birthday every year, he takes a trip out to sea, renting luxury yachts to relax and enjoy himself. Harvey's family has already traveled, for example, to Italy aboard the Sea Lion Yacht, a 200-foot-long vessel with exquisite design and many entertainment options. And to rent this ship, one has to cash out $340,000 per week. In 2021, Steve Harvey chose the ship Siren Nobiscrug to make his 
vacation trip. The 240-foot-long yacht accommodates 12 passengers in its six staterooms and offers a jacuzzi and movie theater for guaranteed fun. In order to enjoy this boat for a week, one must pay $510,000. To celebrate his 65th birthday, the comedian took a sailing trip along the coast of the Bahamas aboard the 282-foot-long Seven Seas yacht. This luxury boat accommodates up to 20 people in nine cabins and has enough room to carry up to 28 crew members. Valued at $150 million, the yacht once belonged to filmmaker Steven Spielberg, and for Steve Harvey to rent it for a week, he likely paid about $1,300,000. Businesses in addition to being a television host, Steve is a successful businessman. In 2017, he united all his businesses under the company Steve Harvey Global. One of the company's branches is the East 112 brand, its internal digital content production company that produces television programs and films such as Think Like a Man and the talent show Little Big Shots. In addition, Steve Harvey markets different licensed products, such as his own line of ties. After all, many people want to be as stylish as the comedian. His other business are his educational courses on leadership, communication, and entrepreneurship through his digital platform Vault Empowers. But besides running his own businesses, Steve Harvey is an investor who bets on various technology companies, such as the global media platform Anthem Sports and & Entertainment, the Bitcoin mining platform BlockCap, the property rental platform AIRBNB, the aerospace technology company SpaceX, the e-commerce marketplace Wish, among many others. Steve definitely knows how to make a lot of money. Net worth Known worldwide as a great comedian and television host, Steve Harvey has really managed to amass a big net worth. Since 2010, he has been at the helm of Family Feud, one of the most watched game shows in America, and it is for all this success that he receives approximately $10 million annually. However, from his morning radio program The Steve Harvey Morning Show, which has been airing since 2000, he is estimated to receive $20 million a year. Some of Harvey's other income sources include the release of the best-selling book Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man, which inspired the 2012 film Think Like a Man, and his other books, Straight Talk, No Chaser, Act Like a Success, and Jump, Take the Leap of Faith to Achieve Your Life of Abundance. Adding up all his other sources of income and all his businesses, the artist's average annual salary is estimated at $45 million. And today, at age 65, some sources claim that Steve Harvey has a net worth $200 million. This certainly justifies the high standard of living he leads. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.